as oh, yeah. uh, Rob Ford has now passed, and it was a terrible bout with cancer. Evan Brown from Fox News on right now. Uh, it's all over for this uh, this tragedy. This thing was just a mess up there in Canada. Well, it, it was certainly a spectacle. Uh, spectacle, for, yeah. Uh, a while, just the, the antics of, of Rob Ford, uh, uh, his uh, his brashness, his bruteness, if you will. Uh, uh, not only was there the the admit, admission of, of repeated drug use, but also um, you know this atypical behavior for a politician and being. Uh, certainly not politically correct, certainly yeah. speaking his mind, uh, uh, you know, uh, bringing a, uh, a Bob Marley tribute band into the city council chambers during a council session, having everybody uh, groove. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know, I think everyone remembers that one. And, yeah. uh, you know, but at the same time, uh, this is someone who eventually recognized that he did have a drug problem. He saw yeah. his uh, proper help, uh, was able to really uh, uh, recover from it and uh, tried to get uh, back into a life of public service and, and someone that many of his colleagues and even his detractors, uh, his political detractors, said that he was probably one of the most dedicated uh, mayors that the city had ever really seen in terms of, of wanting to hear from and interact and do good by the citizens of Toronto. Yeah. Someone that would, uh, would, you know, if they had called him and said, could you be here for something, uh, you know, even though how small the event might be, he, he was there. Probably yeah. actually show up. You and know? you know, the the uh, the people that were, especially the the uh, the the, uh, the poor uh, in uh, Toronto, they loved him. I mean, inner city area of Toronto, they just loved this guy. Well, he was known for a cleaning up a lot of Toronto's inner city and yeah. and uh, you know, uh, really helping to improve quality of life issues. Uh, in the inner city, to uh, uh, the city also had pro- uh, a bit of a problem with uh, bicyclists uh, taking up too much of the roadway. He was able to uh, institute a system where there were bike lanes that would be unobstructive uh, to regular motorists, and uh, you know, and he also got city finances in order. Believe yeah. it or not, he was a, 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 a very uh, uh, Reagan-esque, almost uh, financial conservative. Uh, and uh, he was he was lauded for it, uh, you know, and, and a lot of people will choose yeah. to remember him that way uh, as bringing some, some fiscal order to the city of Toronto. And, and uh, he got a, a upon hearing of his death, his death was from a, a very rare form of uh, of cancer of some I think somewhere in the gut, mm. uh, and mm. it wasn't a very pretty, uh, 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 you know, uh, not a way fun to ending. Go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, he got a lot of uh, a lot of mentions from the political. Uh, spectrum in Canada uh, all about. Even the Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, uh, certainly not on the same political uh, uh, leanings of, of Rob Ford, of, of yeah. Ford being a more right-wing person and Trudeau being uh, the party's, uh, the, the, the nation's leftist party. Uh, just um, uh, really an outpouring of admiration for his dedication to his work. Uh, Evan Brown, Fox News, uh, thanks for the uh, the time this morning. Thanks. You got it. Take right. care. Um, you know, wasn't there a story where he tried to actually get Ford to do a Rob Ford F-150, uh, like a special, <laughs> like, you know, that, that Eddie Bauer version, the there'd be right, a, yeah. there'd be a Rob Ford F-150. He had a lot of personality. He, a little, yeah, a lot, a lot of personality. Well, he, he, had, did. he had a lot of personality. Yeah. So, um, but did you think though, when we were watching that whole thing go down, you thought nothing like that could ever happen here? Now, I understand uh, that we're not seeing politicians out doing crack cocaine or anything like that. Well, but Mar- the craziness, Marion Barry, Barry, Barry in Washington. But he was very beloved. But I'm making the comparison of the crazy politics. It was every day there was another crazy story that came out yeah. of Toronto. And now, look at every day we have another stra- crazy story coming out of I our presidential were, I think they campaign. were different. There were different crazy, though. It is you a know? different crazy. I mean, I, yeah. I think his, his crazy was more excess, eccentricity. And um, you don't normally see the uh, the fiscal conservative being such a a partier. Well, you know, I think I think fiscal conservative, liberal, you know, liberal social view. Um, yeah, I think that's probably that was defined him. him. Yeah. But you know, I, I think the interesting thing is that he was viewed as someone that that wasn't politically correct and spoke his yeah. mind. And the public, I think in some regards, can really appreciate that. But we, uh, we, we feel uh, here, and um, I've, I've really convinced both Manansky and Christine to get on board, uh, we are fiscally liberal with your money. 
And we found that it is uh, it's really pretty awesome when doing contests. The worst sort of person, thing. the worst the, uh, person in the world to be controlling my money. Correct. Yeah, isn't this awesome? <laughs> the worst person in the world controlling his money. Uh, who's that? <laughs> oh, you're talking about me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I have to find probably out, right. I have to find out that you decided to change things while I was well, out of town. Well, here's what we thought. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't find out from you. It's not like you called me up in advance and said, "Hey, Joe, by the way, well, I'm changing things up. I may give you a little bit more money away." Yeah. Um, you know that I think that some of the questions, especially when I'm here, you you, you ask the easiest questions. Um, <laughs> do you think that, it, it really? It really, well, and, and I know you do it to irk me, but you can't irk me. Listen, here's the uh, I, what is interesting is some of these questions that have been tough, people uh, have nailed. Other questions that I find to be easy, yeah. people get nervous and they uh, they mess them up. That that buzzer really it does it, having that on the on the effect. yeah but we're gonna, it's a, it's we'll a do, no win we're gonna do it in a few minutes and see if we can give away some more of your money because if the questions are too difficult then the callers complain if they're too mm -hmm. easy then Hobika complains yeah right well I I think so I should I should be given the opportunity to save the money by if I get the question right then. There's no guilt. Oh, you'd be able to take the money back? Yeah. Here's what we're going to do uh, starting tomorrow, and I'm, I'm excited, is we'll let the cat out of the bag. You're excited? I, oh. I am. I, I'm excited, too. We haven't decided. <laughs> we've not decided which way we're going to go on this. Oh, good. But uh, either way, it's going to be, um, uh, we believe where we're going is going to be kind of a flipping of the coin. So every contestant that comes through mm -hmm. will get the option to flip the coin. And there'll be a, and a little audio piece that will uh, you'll hear the coin go up and flip, and it'll either be heads or tails. If the person says heads, and it lands on heads, then instead of they get to double their their prize. So instead of going after a hundred dollars, you're going after two hundred dollars. Great, isn't that awesome? Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So the person who told you in court yesterday that we were. Uh, kind of changing the contest up there. Absolutely correct. That's fantastic. Adding a little bit of a uh, little spice to it. Oh, spice. Mm -hmm. That's a what little you bit. call that. Yeah, yeah. good. Okay. Uh, and we'll do one of these before we uh, before we get out of here uh, this morning. So sit tight. Hold on. We'll come right back. MMA mixed martial arts yesterday passed the assembly. It was amazing to watch some of the speeches given on the assembly floor yesterday. Uh, some of them actually referencing uh, referencing this radio re referencing this radio program. Really? Um, we'll explain what that is coming up. Hold on tight. Twenty one to WIBX.